Alright, hi there YouTube, it's me more Sud America and in this video I'll be talking about uh, the Japanese PSO2 and giving you guys news updates and all that when it comes to what's gonna kick in in the next week. So usually around this time or today, around ten PM for me, it might be different depending on your time zone and all that. But PSO2 usually goes into a maintenance and they're updating so they can get some new stuff prepped and ready. However, when it comes to Japanese PSO2, there will be no maintenance on the 27th and on June 3rd. North American PSO2 is a different story. They are going to go into maintenance and there will be a PC version of it. I will have information of the main website in the description. You can look at it at your own time. But let me go back and talk about Japanese PSO2. If you are or if you want to look at this information yourself, you can see the links in the description. But pretty much, with the end of this uh, week, they are going to end a bunch of quests and events that's going on right now. You can look at it at your, at your own time. But let me talk about the new stuff that's going to kick in. So, I will have this link in the description as well. They do have information on merchandise, PSO2, ES, Idola, and PSO2. So, if you can say this before today, this thing right here, then you'll get a free item, which is a Rappy Bib. Yeah, Rappy Bib, and then the Comic Memory 3 uh, currency. You can use that at the metal shop, you can get some of that goodies from it. Now, they will have a... No, wait, that's old. Because that's past, uh, what is it, 26? Okay, so I think it's here. I think they're reviving the Sonic Collab stuff. Oh, I did it already. No, that's early June, so... Yeah, this is early June update, so... Uh, uh-oh, the Sonic suit is no longer... <laughs> and North America <laughs> exclusive. I don't know if they typed that up intentionally, but yeah. The campaign runs from June 10th to June 24th. You spend 2,000 ACs for one Sonic hair, and one and two spend 50 to 5,000 ACs for Sonic suit. So male and female spend 10,000 so you can get the uh, lobby action. But yeah, uh, the Sonic collab would get a kick in. There is going to be a couple of scratches. I'm going to try to breeze through this because I don't need to go into a lot of details about some of this stuff. Uh, there's gonna be a Knuckle LA early June along with like some contest winners for some of their scratches, I guess. And then there's gonna be a Terminal Optional 3 lobby action. Apparently they are also gonna release a new pet. It's gonna be named Glass. Its style has double meaning of its grassy looks and its glasses it wears. Advanced pets for Red Ryan. The fast charging glass burst is useful against bosses. And then there's also gave you a new bullet bow photon arts cerulean uh, ballista stock consume one actually no that sounds like a compact complex uh photon art and then a powerful attack for both single and area attacks it might be a complex art because usually when it comes to stocks that is in reference to complex uh techniques photon arts actually no i think it's only arts not techniques. Question mark. Haven't, haven't really dabbled in it. So there will be a lot of success to class adjustments. You can look at this at your own time. Uh, they're going to do a lot of quality of life changes here and there. They're increasing some of the team cap. So it's going to be 50,000. You're going to get an episode 6 partner card. Or you can obtain uh, Lisa's uh, episode 6 partner card. They did add some upgrades. They're also adding special ability factors to freaking 13 star units. Okay. I am triggered with that, but I'll explain why later. So, they are going to add a new bonus quest type to Tokyo, and it's going to be Rainbow. And from the description, or from these two bullets, it's going to increase the experience and rewards. And it's going to give you Sage Crest and ability transfer passes. I'm going to assume that by transplant, they mean transfer passes. I might be wrong. It could be the other pass that I may not know the name of, but yeah, that, that's gonna be a thing. So also, Omega Fouls Luther is gonna get an ultra hard variation of himself. You can get the trigger and they will drop these new units. There's gonna be a, uh, what? 
I can't pronounce that for the life of me, but they are gonna make a collab with the comic people. You can find some of the NPCs in the, uh, what is it, in the shop area, right in front of Doo Doo. If not, you might find them in the cafe. And there are gonna be a bunch of campaigns kicking in. Uh, well, login campaign, boost items, 1 million experience, tickets and ability, transplant passes, might be transfer passes. Item campaign is a bonus key, Tokyo Rainbow, emergency quest rush, plus 100% experience and red drop rate for certain emergency quests, uh, level up boost event, plus 150% experience and red drop for level up quests, and then Twitter screenshot contents for real life presence. And I'm gonna assume this is in reference to story. Yeah, a lot of story stuff, and they are gonna add, uh, what, chapter 5 main missions and limited missions. Then more collab stuff, this is player design stuff that's gonna be in a scratch. They have a teacup lobby action for that one. They also get to release the gun slash uh, lobby action pose. And then uh, late June, they're gonna add the Driving Rain comes to Corrupt and Iberius. They're gonna have a special S class ability capsule for Anth Anth Anthesis Cultivation and ra Rising Pursuit. Equipments will drop with Soul Catalyst. Now, I want to bitch about that as well. And then you can get this, uh, what is it? Evo Device Karan Run. Excuse me. And then Driving Rain 2020 Limited Arcs missions will kick in. They will have a new 15 star and you can get the special collection of the 15 star and the, uh, or these weapon series, I think. Or that bow, I don't know. Could be the weapon series and then also the, uh, pet. Now, I want to emphasize on this and explain that if you want to get technical and, and have, like, really good abilities, you will want to save your star gems for this star gem support item select scratch. I'll explain it in the later half of this video. And then there will be a grind campaign on July 1st to July 15th. Pretty much this is your fixed week, it's going to be plus 5% when it comes to your grinding and your affixing. There will be some other stuff kicking in like a new type experience plus 50% and a new type great success chance plus 25%. There will be an anniversary kicking in. I have no clue how this works, but it is there. They get to have real life merchandise contests, art contests with episode six, six as the theme, interlocking web panel events, acquire eighth anniversary badges, character contests with summer and romantic classic style outfits, eighth anniversary raffle, and an individual point and shop point ranking events. And then from May 27th to June 10th, the campaigns will be the following. Free Field Super Boost, plus 300% experience, plus 250% rare drop rate, plus 100% fever rate for all free fields. Very handy if you plan to spam ultra hard explorations. Get Sage Crest campaign. This is if you clear objectives to get Sage Crest, they will add up to a total of 1,000 Sage Crests. You will want to do this, especially if you're getting back into the game or if you're new to the game. Create a 15 star weapon campaign. I want more information on this. Pretty much this states that you get materials so you can create a 15 star. But at the same time, which 15 star are you gonna promote or emphasize on? And what else can you get from it? So yeah, that that one I'm, I'm a bit curious about along with this one. Once again, I don't know if this is actual like transplant pass or it's the transfer plant pass. If you guys wanna give me a heads up on that. Go ahead and put it in the comments. But if you clear a certain ability, you will get this ability transplant or transfer pass. And then for Arx League, you can get presents such as the bonus key Tokyo Gold and Star Gems based on the rankings. Ooh, that's a lot to say. However, that's just the pretty, pretty that that can't speak. This is not scripted, by the way. <laughs> this is the gist of what's gonna kick in. Once again, I have the links in the description if you want to look at it at your own discretion at your own time. This is gonna talk about my opinions about this. It's good overall. It's just that I'm annoyed at uh, the SAF special belief factors. Now, if you don't understand why I'm annoyed, I have a video explaining about that right or in the description. It talks about the SAF and why I really haven't emphasized it 
or I, the, the, I can't speak. When it comes to weapons, the reason why I don't talk about weapons as much is because of this thing. I already knew that they're going to implement SAFs into a unit. Once again, I'm, I'm kind of salty about it. I'm not going to curse as much, but I'll just state that overall this is actually a good thing. It's just that, in my opinion, they're making this game too easy. Yes, it might cost a lot later, but still, it's going to give you a guaranteed way of getting an SAF onto your future abilities and depending on what the ability is too uh, yeah that might annoy me now I'm still laughing at this uh oh the sonic suit is no longer an A exclusive <laughs> I feel like this is poking fun at NA <laughs> which I don't mind at all now I do need to talk about NA and give my thoughts about certain things again but I'll save that for a separate video uh, da, 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 what else did they talk about? Balancing stuff, I really don't care. Well, if someone points it out to me, then I might, but I'm like, do whatever. They they always do, like, these sort of balances stuff. Means a free ability pass, but at the same time, it's like, sometimes they do a patch or a fix that is good, and then there are times where it's like, you just made this thing broken. Like, stupidly OP when it wasn't supposed to be. Uh, blah, 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 a lot of quality of life stuff, a bunch of scratches, a bunch of revamps, that was a given, that was gonna happen. Oh wait, there was one thing I wanted to emphasize on this thing, so I think this will be the last thing I'll talk about and then I'll conclude the video here and ask you guys what your thoughts are and all that. But when it comes to this support scratch, this is extremely good to uh, use Ah, I can't speak. You won't want to use your star gems on this. The reason being is because of that little exploit that has been talked about on Reddit and also that I recently did for my own units. When it comes to that ability transfer pass, you'll need a lot of those passes, but at the same time, you can use these special items to upslot without having to deal with the penalty. If you don't understand what I just said, <laughs> Most likely you need to watch a video talking about upslotting and then also the ability transfer thing or a future video which shows my upgrade from a 5 slot to a 7 slot without having to deal with the upslot penalty. So you would want to actually grab these things, especially the marks if possible if you can get like a divine transfer I guess or something that's not your regular AC scratch like the power boost and the noble grace or whatever the fancy name is. Like these are something you could uh, place onto your own units or your weapon. I would say units because when it comes to weapons, they are they will always change, and it's important to but to always stay with the meta. But with units, you can easily you know keep them around as long as you have them, and also you can transfer them in due time onto the new units. So I also want to emphasize on the crest, I've got to talk about that before I conclude this video. When it comes to the crest, you would want to do this, especially right after today, or when this thing kicks in. Because to get your liberate weapon, I did talk about the weapon shop and how returning players or new players can use that to their advantage. You get 13 star units or 15 star weapons. You'll need the unlocker. That unlocker can only be... There's a couple ways to actually get the unlocker. It's RNG or you can get the fix method. And the fix method or and the easy method is to actually get the Sage Crest tournament so you can get the unlocker. It costs like 900 crest to get it. I will talk about this in a later video. But for now, yeah, the crests are extremely important and the fact that they're releasing a new variant of the keys as well is going to be a good thing because most of the rare drops when it comes to doing Co uh, Go Tokyo bonus key, that isn't useful at all. Yes, you can get a bunch of small goodies like, you know, 10 star rarities, 11 star rarities, and you can trade in your stones for like a 13 star weapon. But at the same time, it's, it's not relevant to what is going on in game. It's not like your end game stuff. With the rainbow though, it will be able to give you one, more experience, but secondly, the Sage Crest itself, because once again, to get the Liberate Unlocker, you'll need to get a bunch of Sage Crests, or hopefully you can get it as a natural drop from a quest, but once again, that's RNG base. 
So that's it when it comes to this. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are, what you're looking forward to. I am going to be trying to do the Sage Crest campaign because, once again, I am trying to get a library weapon. I need to upgrade from a light stream in my Atlas. I could technically go for the Divide Quest 15 star as well because I do have a bunch of mats for a gun slash, except uh, I need to farm Divide Quest itself. Some of the stuff that I mentioned I will make future videos for, but for now I'm going to leave it at that. And let me know what you guys think. Um, but yeah, if you are looking forward to these sort of videos, let me know. I will make them. If I have a lot of people saying that they want to see the updates and the stuff that's kicking in for the Japanese PS2. Once again, you can find all this stuff in the description. That's it for this video though. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.